In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this text highlight animation effect in Canva. Let's pick a video template. Let's pick the 1920 by 1080 p Let's go over to Elements and search for cartoon background. We'll be going to Graphics and we'll click on this to open up the magic recommendation for it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then click on CO and this is actually the one I want to use. I'll set that as background. I'll be searching for video frame. I'll be using the frames. This is the frame I'll be working with. Now let me go over to my upload. You must have uploaded the image you want to use. Now this is the image I want to use. I'll click and drag it into here. And I'll double tap. This is how I want it to appear. I'll click on done. And let's go back to element. Let me pick a frame for my video that will be playing over it. Let me position that here. And let me duplicate the frame. So this is the second frame. Let me go back to upload to put in my video into that frame. This is the video I'll be using. Drag and drop it into the frame. And for this frame here, I will go to colors here and come down to where it has the gradient colors. And I'll be using this gradient for this frame. Let me go back to position, the yes, and select the both of them. Now I want to go back to arrange and move it to the top and align it to the right. We can then go back to this and click on this video. The first one on top is the video. And let me click on edit. I want to remove the background of my video. Remove the background of my video. So now I have the second frame as a background. The next thing I want to do is to click R on my keyboard to bring out the rectangle shape, or you can use the element to also bring out the rectangle shape. Now I have to spread this out. Let me increase the size of my screen a bit. I'll position this all here, and I'm going to spread this to get to where the text box is. I'll say increase again so I can see what I'm doing. And now that I have this, I want to change the color of the highlighting marker to this. And I'll go over to this three dots here and I'll click on this transparency and reduce the transparency to yeah, 45 is okay. Now that we have this rectangle shape set, I want to duplicate the rectangle shape and take it over this one and let me increase my screen more. I'm going to spread this out, duplicate again, and I'm going to close this out. I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to take it over here and spread it out to cover the text. I'll duplicate again and take this one down. I'm just going to, this is where I stopped reading. Let's go to position. I'll come over to layers and select all the rectangle shapes. Let's click on these three dots and click on show timing. It's going to show us all the timing. So I'm just going to start with this first one that says hello there. And I will shrink it down to where I believe it's going to be hello there. Now I'll take this one to the second text was and I want to set the timing when they will start showing up. Now I have to take this third text, which is this. Yeah. I want to set the timing when it's going to appear on the screen. Now I have to click on this, the fourth one. Let me scroll so you can see what I'm doing. This is the last rectangle shape. These are the timing of each of these rectangle boxes. Now, Let's highlight everything again. We are selecting everything. We've selected all the rectangles on each of the line of the text we want to animate. Then let's go to these three dots and go over to animation. We'll be using the wipe animation. And we'll be aligning to animate only on enter. And we can reduce the speed. Because we've set the timing, that's when each one is coming in after the other one. Let me clear that out. I'll leave the show timing here just in case there's something not working. I'll go back and fix it. Now let's play the video. 
Hello there, we are absolutely thrilled to welcome you as the Canva Community Canvassador. We can't thank you enough for championing Canva and look forward to taking on crazy big goals together. So if any timing is not coming in how you want it, you go and set it. And even the speed is too fast, you click on the one you want to reduce the speed, which is, see, I highlighted the, I am using the timing to know what I'm working on. Or you can just click on position here and come over to which of the rectangle shape you want to work on. You can go back to animate once you've selected one and go to the wipe animation and choose either to increase the speed if it's not coming in fast or to reduce the speed. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and do have a good one.